Hey everyone, welcome back again to Game5D. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how you can set up controller hand captions which was previously called controller hand presence and this allows us to animate our hands using the controller buttons and we will see both the ways of setting it up for natural hands and for synthetic hands and also for controllers and natural occurring animations uh, using the controller buttons. So without any further ado, let's get into it. Alright, so currently I'm on version 62 which seems to be the latest uh, Meta SDK version released and as you could see I'm on 62 uh, for all these packages and unfortunately till now we don't have any building blocks to set up CapSense really quick. So you can see I am searching for CapSense and even if I show you all the building blocks here we don't see anything to set up CapSense from building block which could have been uh, really simple to implement by meta but they haven't uh, released the template yet so we have to go through the manual way but meta has improved it a lot easier from what it was previously the setup and uh, so we'll see how simpler it is now to set up CapSense with the new meta SDK wondering where you can find the documentation uh, to this uh, CapSense so you can find it under hands tracking and I will leave a link to this documentation below so that you can understand the known limitations and compatibility also with some prefab changes that Meta has provided to uh, quickly set up uh, the CapSense using the latest Meta SDK so feel free to take a look at this documentation after this tutorial so that you would understand the nits and bits of it Alright, so to begin with, uh, drag and drop an OBR camera rig prefab into, uh, from the project view into the hierarchy. Uh, so since I already had an OBR camera rig from one of my previous videos, I just resetted any changes and it's same as having a simple OBR camera rig prefab uh, dragged and dropped into hierarchy. So under the hierarchy, you would see that we have these two new anchors called left controller in hand anchor and left hand on controller anchor. So we are going to use that. So search for OVR controller prefab in the project view and make sure you search for in packages because the OVR controller prefab exists under meta xr core sdk. So drag and drop the controller prefab onto the first anchor and make sure you drag and drop it onto the first anchor and not inside of the second anchor. Uh, let's do the same thing for the right controller. Uh, so expand the anchor and drag and drop the OVR controller prefab onto right controller in an anchor. Okay, once that's done, let's add in our hands. So uh, the second anchor is where the hands are going to be. So drag and drop the OVR hand prefab onto left hand on controller anchor. Make sure it's a child of it and not uh, lies outside of it. And it's important you place these prefabs inside of the respective anchors because Meta uses this anchor to selectively enable and disable uh, the prefabs. Alright, so the next thing we are going to do is to set up our hand prefab. So Meta has now updated the hand uh, OVR hand script with these enums. So make sure you select the correct hand and select the state as controller in hand. Do the same thing for the right uh, hand prefab. And uh, let's go to the controller. Make sure it's selected to the left controller. I think I forgot to rename or change the hand yeah to hand right for the right hand OVR prefab uh, okay coming back to the controller make sure you also select the show state as controller in hand for all the fours all the four prefabs I mean so select controller in hand and the correct controller all right with that done uh, let's head over to camera rig under OVR manager under tracking so there is a new enum here called controller driven post type select that to come conforming with controller all right and this is how it's going to look after building it to oculus and you could see that our hand is now conforming with the controller but the new but with the new oculus default hands so i can move my uh, index fingers using the trigger animations i can move my thumbs using the joysticks or the buttons on the controller and it animates uh, to show me that I'm indeed pressing the buttons and moving the joysticks and I can also use the grip button to manipulate my grip 
So much more simpler than uh, the previous setup with the Meta XR interaction SDKs. So let's move on to see how we can set it up by natural hand. Alright, to set up a natural hand animations, all we have to do now is to go over to VR Manager and update the enum to select natural and that's how simple it is. And this is how it looks with the natural animations and uh, as you could see I'm using the grip button to move, move my grip. I can use the index trigger to move my index finger and I can hold index and grip to make a half fist and if I touch the any of the buttons on the controller it's it animates my uh, thumbs and if I want to make a, a, a poke interactor I can just use a grip and thumb and leave the index as it is so it will not move my index finger and if I want to make a fist I can grip all the buttons and also place my hand on the joysticks to make a fist and if I want to do a pinch interactor then I can move my joystick and the index trigger and that will make this pinch interaction so I'm not using the grip so that won't close any of my fingers and that's how you get a natural hand animation using the controllers all right now let's take a look at how we can set up uh, synthetic hands to use cap sense so from one of my previous interaction setup videos I showed you how we can set up uh, the controllers and synthetic hands to work simultaneously for interactions and mainly what I did here is that I disabled the script that uh, renders the meshes basically these three scripts and instead what I did uh, is I added these OVR hands uh, prefabs or prefab variants which has this left and right hand component that reads from this uh, left hand and right hand data and populates this hand script so that we can use it for with all of our visuals and interactors and inside of uh, the left hand I had these hand visuals left which actually contains the synthetic hand prefab and if you take a look at it it is this uh, translucent hand that you get and it, it reads from the left hand data that gets populated from that data script that I showed and then it up updates these uh, bones on the hand visual script underneath of it so uh, if you haven't taken a look at it there should be a link on top as a card for you to take a look at and see how we can set up synthetic hands and lastly what to actually we have to do is that once you have the synthetic hand set up uh, the other way so you can uh, then come back to OVR camera rig and inside of the camera rig uh, come to OVR manager or head over to tracking in the same way that we did previously so set the controller driven hand post type from none to conforming to controller or natural for now we'll go with conforming to controller to see how the synthetic hand looks with the controller and once that's done, uh, then head over to the OVR camera rig uh, left controller anchor and update the controller tracking left to use uh, L touch type for left and controller in hand show state. Let's do that for the right controller as well. Uh, make sure the references to each of the hand left and controller left are correct. Also update the hand tracking left and hand tracking right to use the controller in hand so state as well so that's it now let's see the synthetic hand conforming to controllers and this is how it looks i think it looks much more better than the default hand that meta gives us and the synthetic hand does work in the similar way that we saw in the default hands conforming to the controllers although we can see the ray interactors uh, from one of the previous video i forgot to disable that but Apart from that, everything looks to work as usual. So, uh, congratulations! Now we have set up synthetic hands to conform our to our controllers. Now let's see how we can set it up for natural poses. Okay, if you have the interactors uh, like like me, and if you have been following the tutorials, uh, so you may have to disable the interactors so that it doesn't appear uh, in front of the hands while it's conforming or showing the natural poses. So just disable the complete group that we have uh, as a game object and that should do it. And finally let's uh, make it to conform to natural poses by going to VR manager and set it to natural. And that's how you do it. Now we got our synthetic hands uh, behaving naturally while also conforming to controller. Although for natural poses the controller won't appear. 
and you would see that uh, i can do the index finger gestures uh, i can make a half fist i can also make a uh, poking uh, gesture also i can make the pin gestures using the same functionality that we saw uh, in the with the default hands and uh, in my opinion the synthetic hand looks much better than the default black ones that meta provides us so congratulations now you got the synthetic hands working And that's how we set up uh, CapSense uh, using the latest Meta SDK. And by far, this has been the simplest way to set up uh, CapSense uh, and without having to dwell into setting up our own bone, bone names and scripts to make it working. So I hope you all enjoyed this uh, video. If you have, please consider leaving a like and also uh, subscribe to the channel for similar contents. And if you have any suggestions or anything to ask, please leave them in the comment sections below. I would love to reply to each one of you. Alright, so thank you for watching, I'll see you in the next one.